Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So for today's video, this is probably the first time that I am filming here in our kitchen, but Oh gosh, my dog is so noisy. My mom is just on her way. She just had her COVID vaccine, her first dose. She spent um, a few hours in the hospital to check on if there are any side effects from the vaccine, but good thing wala naman. Thank you, Lord. So she's on her way home and she's bringing us ice cream. But while I'm waiting for that, all we're gonna do is drink water. So I'm gonna put some water in my glass and we are gonna talk about a few of your questions because I feel like I haven't done a Q and A with you guys for a long time already. So thank you guys for sending all of your questions below on Instagram. But before we start, I want to thank our sponsor for today, PDF Element Pro. You can download PDF Element Pro from the App Store by following these steps. Just type in PDF Element Pro on the search bar, and once it appears, click on it to download. Once downloaded, it offers the easiest way to study, and you can use it to create, edit, annotate, and sign PDF documents. Here I show you how you can highlight text, put strike throughs, plus you can even change the colors. Use the underline tool and even use the pen tool to scribble whatever you want. Plus, you can use a scribble tool when you're creating PDFs and choose from a selection of different paper formats of your choice, similar to an actual notebook. Here I show you how I made my own notes using PDF Element Pro using the pen tool. Of course, you can also add text, create Start sticky notes, create shapes, and even resize it. Put sticker marks, plus even create your own digital signature. It's super easy to use and it can really help you work on your documents. Plus, you can even edit a part of the text of the PDF document. Just simply delete a text you want or type in a text you want to add. You can also crop and resize images on the document. Plus, what's great is that you can view your PDF documents in either vertical or horizontal form in whatever way you're comfortable with. So many possibilities and so many things you can do with just one app. Go check out PDF Element Pro and download it on the App Store now. Wow, okay, this is probably the first time I heard someone ask this question. But is ASEP hard? If you guys don't know, ASEP is the Ateneo College Entrance Exam. So because I went to Ateneo for college, I took up the ASEP. So I took it back when I was in fourth year high school. Testmanship is the key talaga when it comes to mga standardized tests like this. Especially NMAT standardized na naman siya in a sense. So you have to practice testmanship by answering multiple exams and questions para matuto ka. So you guys have asked me, mag-train ka pa po ba ng residency? Yes, I will. Um, not at the moment. I'm still waiting if my opening nga sa hospital na gusto kong applyan. And once there is na, I will fly back straight to Manila. <laughs> Fave song and Blackpink. Ay, ang dami, guys. Fave song ko sa Blackpink. Siguro, I really like Bet You Wanna. I could listen to it all day. Pero kung Korean song na talaga na, kasi yung Bet You Wanna kasi, it's pure English. That's why I like love listening to it and Cardi B is also part of it. But I also really like um, Love Sick Girls and I like um, Whistle. Yeah, Whistle. To be honest guys, itong pandemic lang ako nagkaroon ng like, fan girl over Blackpink. I never really was into K-pop before the pandemic and it was just really during the pandemic and because Blackpink was my go-to song while studying for the board exam. Kaya ayun, I'm a fan girl now. And a very very fun <laughs> Naka experience na po ba kayo ng nakakatakot na pangyayari while you're in med school? Nakakatakot in a sense na oo, bumagsak. <laughs> when you say nakakatakot na supernatural, buti naman wala pa. Wala, not wala pa. Buti naman wala ako experience sa ganyan. Pero I've heard stories about it. And marami talaga ibang stories about the para kung dadaan ka dun sa anatomy. May white lady daw, ganun. Ang daming stories about it. So kung may mga events sa gabi, ganun. Misa dadaan kami dun and I didn't know what to like, cover up the ice. It's so scary. It's scary. Okay, my mom is here. The ice cream has arrived. I will get the ice cream. Ice cream! I love Carmen's best. So she got one in malted milk because I love malted milk. She also got one in green tea. This is Jam's favorite. So I am. No, but malt, but my favorite is really good. Fave psych subject. Um, I feel like one of the. the subjects that I like in psych was experimental psychology 
and I also like social psychology. Is it okay to work for a year before going to med school? The answer here is yes. It's really up to you, whatever choice you have. Of course, you can take a gap year before going to med school. I know people, you know, nursing graduates who didn't go to med school right away. They took up their nursing boards. Some people do both. They go to medicine and then they study for the, the board exam that they're taking, whether it be nursing, med tech. I have friends. Med tech friends actually who went to med school and then studied for two months and then took their med tech board exam and they passed. She all up to you. Whatever makes you happy, then go for it. Okay, probably one of the questions you guys have asked multiple times that I realize I haven't addressed yet. The chance to go to another country was actually a part of our curriculum in UST. There is what you call an elective. So an elective means that it's all up to you whether you want to take up a certain specialty that you want to rotate in. It can be up to you, whatever your choice is, or you have the option of going abroad or, you know, maybe do it somewhere else aside from USC where you can do your rotation. Because I really wanted to go abroad and I wanted to experience how it is like in the US and the medical life. And, you know, there are a lot of options that you can go to. I have friends who went to Europe, I have friends who went to Japan, I have friends who went to Australia. Basically, all around the world, wherever you want to apply to, you can have that opportunity as long as you do that for a month and you come back with a list of things that you did because you're given a diary of some sorts or a journal to write down everything that you have learned on a day-to-day -day basis but the cherry on top was that i had the chance of going to new york so actually if i hadn't talked to my friend rafa i wouldn't know about this opportunity in new york my initial plan was to go to seattle in washington that's in the u.s so, because they were offering yung addiction medicine as a form of elective, that was my initial choice. It was either that or Hawaii. Those were the only um, places that I had in mind at that time because I didn't know of other places. Like the year before we went to our elective, yung girlfriend yung pumunta dun. So, she referred Rafa to the same doctor who was in New York. Rafa and I talked about it and like said that, okay, I want to go there. And I asked him what would be the rotation that was up for grabs. So he said that it was general surgery. And that was like a really good application for me. It was an easy application because we knew someone in the hospital. Send in an application form. We had to send in our x-ray results. I said they were very wary of TB. And actually, three lang yung allowed the students don. I found my friend Nikki. She also had the same schedule as me. So sakto, that's why the three of us went into the US. And that was a really, really great experience. I wouldn't change it for the world. I learned so much. General surgery is not just about how they do it in the US, but at the same time, how like patients are there. We were able to experience so many different surgeries. We were able to shadow. We weren't like the only interns there. There were also a lot of medical students. So we were also able to meet so many medical students. As in, iba din yung schedule nila. Third years kasi in the US, that's when they do their rotations in different specialties. And then kapag fourth year, yun na yung time na mag rotate sila sa different hospitals, but only one specialty. Yun na yung usually specialty of choice na. Kunwari, if they want to be like a general surgeon, they would rotate in different hospitals, pero general surgery lang. Whereas kami, nung fourth year kami, third year sila, where na pareho na nag rotate kami sa different departments. So that was like a good experience talaga. Kasi it wasn't just, you know, a hospital experience. It was also like a setting that we, where we got to talk and meet and interact with other medical students and hear about their experiences. And even their schedules are very different. Like here, honestly, very overworked yung mga residents natin compared to there. Get to see them even complain about it. And here, we can't even say anything. And if we complain about the work hours here, we just sometimes get scolded or sasabihan tayong, why do we complain? That is how it is. And it's so hard to change that system. But I hope it does change. Anyway, going back to the question of how you apply. Since it was different from our experience kasi nga, we had a contact. It, you can still apply to different hospitals. Si Marlon for instance, he was able to apply to St. Mary's Hospital in Korea but sila lang mismo search So if you go on Google, you can search for different hospitals and it will pop up there, yung mga hospitals that allow for shadowing or for international students. So if your school has a program that allows you to go out of the country and experience an elective for like a one month, I know we are him also has, I know PGH also has one. Do ask and do inquire if you're allowed to do that because it's a really great experience. Going back to what I said for Marlon, sila na mismo nag search sa mga hospitals na they actually rotated in. So you can just search on Google for hospitals that you can apply to as international students and nakaka-indicate dun kung kailan sa 
na open when application periods are open because once you surpass that application period, you can no longer apply. Um, for Korea, yun yung Marlon, they have the St. Mary's Hospital. Yeah, other places around the world. And dami talaga. As long as you just search online, after that, you email. You can actually communicate from there. Yung iba, my fee, because of course, you have to take note also for um, the dorms. Ganun. Minsan kasi may package ng iba na may kasamang dorm. But in our case, kasi we were lucky, it was the doctor who we shadowed with, provided us um, a place to stay. So, yeah, we were really lucky about that. And we did pay for the hospital that we applied to in New York. And like, all the food was free. I guess the only thing we paid for was when we went out of town during the weekends. Kasi off yung weekends namin nun eh. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. So, during those three days, we would always go out of town. Basically, I spent um, $2,000 for the entire trip. $1,000 for my my airfare because malapit na nga yung pag book namin medyo mahal na yung ticket or if we could have booked it earlier it would have been different or like cheaper and then the other $1,000 was really spent for my pocket money for others naman they had to pay for lodging I know Marlon paid for lodging as well there are also offers from like if you want to do your electives in Harvard meron din of course you have to pay because that's Harvard so I have friends who actually went there top of boards actually went to Harvard of course super great talaga na experience niya for you to be able to go to Harvard or yung mga other big schools like Stanford, Yale and actually do a one month internship there you have to finish all your four major rotations. So four major ibig sabihin, I am OBpedia surgery dapat matapos mo yung apat na rotations na yun before you can apply to those hospitals. So iba-iba yung application process per hospital. So you just have to really check it out online and they have the provided list naman for every hospital. You can just search it on Google. I tell you not sila Marlon found their hospital on Google. Masa I know sa Japan it's very very popular in Tokyo. Like people actually go there. I know a friend from PJH who went there also. So yeah, if you do want to experience that kind of experience, do ask your school if they provide that for you. And if you can rotate like outside the country, um, do ask that. It's a great opportunity. And if you're given the chance, ngayon palang, I mean, of course, it's a pandemic. It's gonna be different. You can't fly right now, but once you know it's okay to travel now, then get your chance. Grab the opportunity to actually rotate outside of the country. You're gonna learn so much and it's gonna open your eyes to so many things. Sometimes here in the Philippines, we even have to bring it on our own. You have to pay for it. Don't need really have gloves, masks, hat. Everything is provided to them. And we were able to talk to patients as well. I mean, like history or like nag ask na questions to patients. So again, as I mentioned, if you do have the chance, sana mawala tong pandemic na to and you guys can have that opportunity as well. Regarding the application, I guess I've mentioned it. Do search on Google. Don't be afraid to email the hospital. May ibang hospital na free, na walang bayad yung pag-shadow nyo or pag-rotate nyo like hours. You also have to be professional when it comes to that. Kami, we had to wake up 5 a.m. every day kasi sumasama na kami sa doctor. Like, sometimes we would go home at like 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. and then wake up again the next day at like 5 a.m. And that was like, like the professional life of a doctor in the U.S. and we kind of got to experience that part also. Um, if you have any other more questions regarding that, please do leave it in the comment section below but I think I've tackled all the important points. I have a lot of unanswered questions here but my dream university is USC and na po bang requirements or standards to enroll there so I'm guessing this is USD med or US uh, for USD I know you just need to pass the entrance exam but for USD med you have to submit your grades make sure your NMAT is at least 85 above I don't know if it still holds true or the same for now so those were the only things that were needed and best thing about being a doctor that you can provide the utmost care and treatment that you can for patients I guess one of the things I mean, I've experienced this before, but like whenever I care for a patient and ha happy yung family, they do give mga food, gano, like they show their appreciation. Probably the best thing about being a doctor is seeing your patient get well. Do you sometimes look into the other's past and feel getting left behind? Um, Yes, I do. Especially now na some of my friends are in residency. At first, talaga, I let it get to me na parang I feel like I'm left behind. But then I realized, you know, family is very important to me at the moment. I've already been very left behind when it comes to family time na I'm very very, very distant with my family. But choosing not to go into residency at the moment has done well for me, for my mental health, and that's what's important right now. Have you deleted your social media life when you were studying? Yes! No boards, I think I deleted um, YouTube. I didn't, I wasn't active on YouTube at that time. I was still active on Instagram because I still had partnerships with brands because even when I was reviewing, but it's, it pays to actually delete and go on a social media detox from time to time because of course you have to focus, my dear. Can you ba get ng life sense ng pre-med before entering med school? Yes, of course! Haha, <laughs> natawa ko sa question na to. Why does it look like a baby even though you're already an adult? I don't 
don't know. It's genes, genetics. And okay, last few questions before I end this video. I know putting in your EM doctors or emergency med doctors. They're really, really good doctors. Of course, they're the frontliners of the frontliners because they're the first on call. But the fact that they're working long hours is a really great thing. I mean, it's hard. It's a really hard specialty, but I salute them. Thank you guys for sending all your questions. I read through most of them. There's super many questions, but I'll do another Q&A for you guys next time. Until then, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!